Hello everyone, and welcome back, to the Game Creator ABC tutorial series. In this tutorial part, we will equip the GC player with ABC mechanics, I'll show you how the new character creator works, how to fix the animations, and I'll add our first weapon with combos and an ability, as well I will show, how to bring the weapons in position, using the new adjustment mode. So let's get started. First, let's create a GC player, to do this, we click on the green diamond in the toolbar. Next let's do the transforms reset. This will help you later, with bring the weapons in the right position. Now we create a GC camera, for this, we use the toolbar again, and click on the camera symbol. Now, let's quickly make a plane, that our character does not fall down later. To do this, let's right click in the hierarchy, 3D, plane. Let's reset the transforms, to fit our ground in right position. Now let's start with the new ABC character creator, to open them, let's click on window, ABC, global portal. This may take a few seconds before it opens. Let's drag the GC player, from the hierarchy, into the empty character field, now we can see the settings. Let's move the window a bit to the right, to see our player in the scene. I will now explain some of the settings, that the new character creator brings with it. This will help you, better understand what you are actually doing, and when you need what. Let's start, with the first category, the character setup. In the first field, you can choose what type of character you want to create. This can be a player, enemy, or even a friendly NPC, or companion. In the second field, you can now choose between, one of six pre-made game types. Any of these templates, has its own settings and adjustments, to get you started faster. Under them, you will find four further settings, these ensure that the adjustments and settings, of your chosen game type are added to your character, this includes, for example, the weapon holder and the ABC components. In the next section, you can choose between six different UI types, and how you want to display them. The last two settings here, are the camera component, and the ABC movement system. Now let's start building the player. In this tutorial we choose the action type, for get game creator working, we need to disable the camera component, and also the ABC movement system. The reason why we need to do this, is simply said, game creator is using its own animation and camera system, and you will run into issues, by adding in another one, to the exiting one. Now you can choose your UI settings. I will stay for now, with the local one. Next we only need, to click on the create character button. Before we go to next category, let us bring our weapon holders, in the right position, using the new adjustment mode. Important to know here, you can only activate this, after you have clicked, on create character. Let's toggle them on, in our scene we see now all the swords, but the left and right one, we need to bring in position. To do that, let's click on one of the swords, let's start with the right one. After we click on the sword, we see some holder parts, in our hierarchy. Here it is important, to only use the parent holder, let's click on the ABC holder for the right sword, and bring them in position. Let's do the same, on the left sword. Don't forget to choose the parent holder for the left weapon. When you're done, 
Click adjustment mode again to toggle them off, and save your positions. The next step is to add a weapon. Let's move on to the next category, weapons. In this section you will find, 11 templates for any type, from shooting to sword and shield. Any of these templates, have already a combo set, and are required settings. Of course, you can adjust anything to your needs, but this we cover in a separate tutorial. Let's add a one-handed sword, to do that click on add weapon. In this window, we need to check the game type modification, and choose the game type, in my case the action type. Then hit import. Now let's see in play mode, the result, and current state of our player. As you can see, the animations don't work well while walking. Also we got an issue, within parameter. So let's fix this. Let's start with the missing parameter warning. To fix that we need to go to our character's animator component. Click on the animation controller. For faster find them in our project, and double click to open them. Click on the parameter tab, then on the plus icon, and choose int, for integer. Scroll down a bit, and double click to rename. Name it animation mode, be sure to write them correctly. Next, we fix the movement animations. To do that, let's go back in our character creator weapons category, and hit info on the one-handed sword. If you watch on your inspector, you can see the weapon info now, click in there on modify weapon. This opens a new window with all the settings from the one-handed sword. Let's go to the animation overrides category, and uncheck it to disable. You can close this window now. Let's give a new try and play mode, to see the result. As you can see, the movement is now working correctly, and the parameter issue is gone. For the last step of this tutorial, we go over to the next category, the abilities. In this window, you now have, a high amount of ability templates, but this is not all. At the top you find a filter, where you can use, for fast find what you need. Let's add a dodge for now. Click on the dodge field, and let's choose the teleport dodge. In the next window, same game as with the weapon. Check the game type modification, and choose your game type. After that you can hit import. Let's check the functionality in play mode. Use the right mouse button by default, to use the dodge. This was the tutorial for part 2. Hope it helps, see you soon in part 3.